First responders put their lives on the line every day, facing dangerous situations in the field, but there are also potential health risks with the job. Respiratory disease remains a significant health issue for firefighter and emergency responders, and it's something the American Lung Association has been outspoken about. Morning anchor and health reporter Kirsten O'Connor wanted to find out more in today's Ask a Doctor. So, of course, respiratory illnesses are top of mind lately with COVID-19. And as we know, we have had many of our local first responders quarantined because of their exposure to coronavirus. So I sat down and spoke to Janelle Hom, the executive director of the Central Florida chapter of the American Lung Association, to find out more about the tie between our firefighters and law enforcement officers and some of those diseases that affect the lungs. There's definitely a big tie with the first responder community and the American Lung Association. And what we may not always realize that these really brave people are actually at a higher risk of developing respiratory diseases, um, such as, you know, they run into a building that they may be inhaling smoke and chemicals. And firefighters in particular are regularly exposed to smoke, gases, chemicals, and other substances that can be very damaging to their lungs. And many often are at an increased risk of, risk of chronic issues, including a lingering cough, hoarseness, asthma, allergies, and in more extreme cases, lung or bronchial cancer. The American Lung Association covers all types of lung diseases, which includes COVID-19. And they have some big goals when it comes to hopefully being able to get rid of it or at least cut back instances drastically. This year, the American Lung Association launched a COVID-19 action initiative, pledging $25 million to end COVID-19 and defend against future respiratory pandemics. Kind of a fun fact about our organization, when we started over 115 years ago, uh, tuberculosis was actually the number one um, public disease that we were facing. And through our organization, we modeled this uh, uh, structure of education, advocacy, and research and helped to nearly eradicate tuberculosis. And we are here to do the same thing to COVID-19. Tom tells me really education and awareness are key when it comes to fighting widespread illnesses just like COVID-19. There are so many ways through the Lung Association that you can learn about COVID-19 and get through all the, the myths and the rumors to be able to really have an understanding, but also to, to be able to be a part of the solution. In and the American Lung Association is full of information on various respiratory diseases and ways to volunteer or fundraise from doctors. You'll be able to check it out and help get results to fight this pandemic.